Hello everyone, today, I'll be introducing a new method for the best in painting and outpainting. This method will expand the image more accurately than previous methods. At the same time, I will also guide you through some steps to create a satisfactory image using this in-painting and out-painting method. This is the workflow I have perfected with various techniques to serve the purpose of accomplishing everything in one step without too much hassle. I will upload it to my Patreon to serve paying members. However, I will also provide basic guidance for everyone. First, we'll start with the default interface of Comfuey. Next is the basic setup process to initiate the AI image creation process. I will use my favorite SDXL lighting checkpoint, or you can also use the checkpoint that I instructed in the previous video. I'll use any image to demonstrate the in-painting and out-painting techniques as they understand environmental context well. Here's the node we need. Since it's not a default node in Comfuey, we need to install it. You just need to search for Comfuey in paint nodes and it will appear here. Here is its source code website. You need to download some necessary models for this node to function properly. You just need to click here and it will take you to the page where these models are shared. Then proceed to download them to your computer. You need to create a new folder and name it as instructed, then download the models from the website mentioned earlier. Now, let's return to Comfuey to proceed with the next step. Here, we'll need two pads for latent, one for the sampler latent and another one to be connected to another node named Apply Focus in Paint. This node will process image information through the path of the model. In this patch section, you need to call out another node to load the models you downloaded earlier. Please pay attention to the positioning. If it's incorrect, errors may occur. Next is the V decoder to produce the final image. This is the most crucial part. We will start without painting first. I'll call out the out painting offset node. It will expand the image in any direction you want. Now, let's begin to generate the image to see the result. And here is the result. It seems like something is missing. It's the process of handling the mask part. Please search for and call out the fill mask area node. We'll need to do some processing here. The colors in the image seem quite intense, which is related to the sampling set and CFG. I'll adjust them a bit to fit the checkpoint being used. I'll fine-tune the fill mask part to offset the colors from within the image. Great, the rest might involve me mistakenly connecting to latent ports, causing this mask part not to be processed as intended. Alright, it's working correctly now, the parts in the image have been seamlessly extended outward. I'll call out the compare node to easily compare the images before and after the process.
Now, I'll change to another image to see if this method is truly effective or not. Very quickly, we have the result, the image has been expanded in a very reasonable manner and there are no borders like the previous methods used to produce. So, what about inpainting? Now, I'll guide you through how to inpaint it. First, we'll create a mask for the area that needs to be changed inside the image. The paths of the image and mask will need to be adjusted not to pass through the outpainting node. This time, I'll try with a larger mask and add a prompt to check the effectiveness. Absolutely, that's great. Now, I'll combine various methods to use on one image to change multiple things without losing the original characteristics of the image. First, let's change the state of this adorable Pikachu to an angry one. Then, I'll copy the result and proceed to inpaint another part. Continue copying and then connect it to the outpainting part to expand the image further. A larger image also means it will take longer to generate. During this time, I'll create a comparison node between the original image and the final result for easy comparison. Here is the result, everything looks great, doesn't it? The comparison between the original image and the image after processing is very good. And now, with the advanced workflow, I'll demonstrate its prowess. Mask in painting and out painting are combined to be executed in just one go. Furthermore, the image size has been automatically resized to produce the final size. I've fine-tuned everything to fit realistic image styles, and I've also added advanced image quality enhancements. Now, let's check the results. The output image quality is excellent, meeting the need for quick photo editing without too many operations. It's also more convenient for multiple outpainting, preventing images from becoming oversized and causing delays. In the next video, I'll demonstrate a new technique in image editing with AI, which is changing lighting. It can be challenging if you want to switch from day to night or from bright to dusk, etc. Follow me to receive future tutorial videos, and if you need this basic workflow, I'll also upload it to Patreon along with the advanced version. Wishing you success, and see you in the next video!